Cricket off his bike, Grunder, and look at the way that Hedegaard's trying to ride up that. They've always run up that one in the past. He's riding further. Hedegaard has gone that one bit further than before. Uh, Hedegaard decided to ride, and Grunder was just doing what they'd all done before. Get off at the same spot, and Hedegaard has must have worked out. That was where he gained just a few extra vital metres, and he's done it. That was real judgment on Hedegaard's part. He kept going at a particular point in the course where they've been off and running, and he's opened up that gap which every cyclocross rider looks for. That little bit of understanding of the course where you know we can just put the pressure on where it hadn't been ridden like that before and it takes a lot of courage a lot of judgment and that man has done just the right thing he's opened up the gap and Grundahl has got to reply to him and come back has he got anything left Grundahl he couldn't respond then it's five seconds and Grundahl's got to run up this bit and close down that gap the young rider here just some 22 years of age and he looks a bit rough Hedegaard has absolutely launched a sizzling attack. Beautiful piece of judgment, and it looks like he's blown Grunendahl's gasket. And Grunendahl is now probably going to say, I gave her my best. I have been champion of the world of June in 1989. Perhaps my day will come, and perhaps now I'm for second place, because this man heaving those cranks round has opened up a gap that Grunendahl has got to really grit his teeth and try and close it down, but he's really struggling right now. Hedegaard has to be very, very careful all the way around though, not to let anything slip away. Watching those ruts again. He's got to keep the speed up, he mustn't let anything of that gap that he's obtained so far be frizzled away by just a slight error. He knows that he's got that lead, a Grunel gritting his teeth behind, grits his more ways than one, his mouth will be full of sand, that flies off the wheels, he's spitting out all the time. Crowd has seen a tremendous battle here today. Hedegaard's still concerned about where his chase has got to. He set to a cracking pace earlier on, one can just uh, question as uh, Vilecken comes through in third spot as to whether he was just going a little bit too quick. They opened up a tremendous gap on the rest of the field. <laughs> you can see all the Belton's here turning around to their mates. Hey, he's in front and he's really opened up! <laughs> I'm beating hell out of the sand. You'll have your foot trodden, your hand trodden if you're not careful. Saxon, one of the, I wouldn't say minor sponsors, the wrong word because they sponsor quite a big team as such, but it's not one of the top road teams in uh, in, in Belgium. They're gathering in momentum all the time. Going to be pleased with this one, with their man. Really looks though as he's taken flight nothing better than to find yourself in the lead You're, yes he's waving already to the crowd he's got it worked out absolutely superb piece of judgment he chose exactly the right part of the course to go and the crowd here absolutely over the moon for a Belgian victory in the uh, first ever open championship of the world Victor Paul Hedegaard of Belgium. In second place, the Dutch champion coming across the line, ex junior champion of the world, Richard Grunendahl, exhausted by his efforts. But I'm sure we'll see some more of this young man because their age and experience finally proved to be the victor. Some nine years difference between the two riders and Vivekan looking back to see where Pontoni's got to and he's sprinting up down the left hand side of the road I should watch out for him but he's not going to take the silver the bronze medal that's also going to Belgium so Erwin Vivekan takes the bronze medal with his third place and just behind him the previous amateur bronze medalist from Italy last year Corva in the blue jersey Pontoni 
another rider we're going to see a lot more of in the future. This is a type of sport where experience over the years tells. Adri van der Poel coming in here. I wonder if Adri now will say goodbye to the uh, cyclocross scene. Five times silver medalist in the uh, World Championships and uh, now, according to my notes, in fifth spot there. I'd love to see Adri turn to mountain bike racing to see how he could do there in the mountain bike scene. Well, the French rider Cyril Bernard 